A view back in ASP.NET MVC is a dynamic object, meaning that it allows you to add properties to it on the fly. Unlike traditional objects where properties are statically defined, properties of view back can be defined and initialized dynamically at the runtime. View back is similar to view data, and it's also loosely typed and lacks compile time checking. Like view data, view bag is used to pass data from a controller to a view. However, while view data is a dictionary that requires string keys to store and retrieve values, view bag does not use keys. Instead, you can interact with a view bag as if you were interacting with an object and its properties. Now, to better understand these definitions, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In here, the first thing that I'll do is that I'll just go to the URL controller and I'm going to change this view data to a view bag. So for that view bag and then the property name is going to be just dot shortened URL. And then for the second one, we're going to have view bag and then all URLs. We need to also set it as a property. Now this is all you need to do in here. So let us now go to the index view. And here I'm going to change this view data to be a view bag dot shortened URL. Now regarding the old URLs in here, when we use view data, we needed to do an explicit conversion because we said that view data is a dictionary that does require explicit conversion. With view bag, since it has a dynamic property, what we can do is that we can just remove it and then just use down here at view bag dot all URLs. Let us save the changes and I'll just run the app now now I'll just go to URL and then index and you can see that I have the same response. As we have seen so far, the view data and view bag in an ASP.NET MVC are both used to pass data from a controller to a view, but they have some differences. The view data is a dictionary of objects derived from the view data dictionary. View bag, on the other hand, is a dynamic property that provides a dynamic view over the view data. With view data, you use strings to set and to get values, but view bag allows you to use properties to set and to get values. The data that is stored in a view data requires explicit casting when retrieving it. View bag does not require casting as it uses dynamic typing. Trying to get a value from view data that doesn't exist will return null. It will not throw an exception. Also, accessing a non-existent property on view bag will return null instead of throwing an exception. Both view data and view bag are wrappers around the same data, and view bag is actually a dynamic wrapper around the view data. Despite these differences, both view data and view bag are loosely typed and do not offer compile time type checking. This can make them more error prone compared to using strongly typed models. They are best used for passing small amounts of data to a view, especially data that does not persist beyond the current request.